there is a human desire that almost everyone acts on immediately because it's this primal instinct and urge that we all have. But if you go against the grain and if you do something that's completely counterintuitive and don't follow that urge, you can actually stand out in the crowd of single women and attract much higher quality men. Now, I'm not gonna wait until the middle of this video to tell you what that is. I'm gonna tell you that that desire is comfort. And it's something that all human beings want and need. We all wanna feel comfortable. But where there's comfort, there's no tension. And tension is the one quality that can create strong attraction. In fact, when you're flirting with someone, what you're actually doing is you're creating a sexual tension. So if you immediately jump to comfort, you are removing the tension that's going to create that type of attraction. So I'm gonna walk you through three counterintuitive ways to act differently than everyone else acts and create a powerful tension that doesn't just attract men in general, but also helps you attract a more confident, discerning man as well. And by the way, I'm Jason Silver. I am the dating coach for ambitious women. If I haven't met you already, hello and welcome to my channel where every single week I go through dating and attraction strategies for successful, ambitious women, specifically how to attract high quality men, which are men that are looking for a lifelong committed relationship with someone who's going to bring each other, a true partnership, the deepest level of fulfillment. So please do subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button just beneath this video. And YouTube says that's not enough. You can't just hit the subscribe button. You also have to make sure the little bell next to the subscribe button is checked so you'll be notified of all of my future videos. The first way to apply the three second rule is when you're listening to your date or to a man that you'd like to attract, wait three seconds after they're done talking, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, before you begin your thought or before you begin speaking. Now, this is very different from what most people do. And just pay attention when you're talking to someone. Most people are ready to jump in. Either they interrupt or they begin speaking right after you talk. I would say most people do this because 99% of people are actually thinking when you're talking about what they're going to say next or they're applying what you're telling them to how it relates to their life somehow. And if you can differentiate yourself and if you can just wait three seconds before jumping in, what you're going to do is you're going to exude a level of patience, a level of attentiveness, and true focus on the other person that they are not used to receiving. Now, I had a friend that taught me this because I would be speaking to him and he would apply the three second rule in our conversation. And at first it felt uncomfortable. Like, should I talk? Uh, what's, why is he, he pausing here? I wasn't used to being listened to. And he almost had to teach me what it was like to communicate with someone that was truly, truly listening. And it made me feel so respected and cared for and listened to uh, and acknowledged than almost any other person that I spoke with because he gave me the space to ruminate. He gave me the space to actually continue a thought instead of being interrupted constantly. And it brought this energy or this aura from him of this relaxed, gentle stillness. He didn't need to interrupt, he didn't need to jump in. He was just there and he was present and he was you know, able to, to continue talking and to uh, engage in the conversation after he gave a little pause in time for me to talk. It was very inspiring, and when people feel listened to, they feel cared for. So that's the first way that you can apply the three-second rule to differentiate yourself just in a normal day-to-day -day conversation with a high-quality man. The second way to apply the three-second rule, and I love this one, is through eye contact. Now just hear me out on this. When you're walking around day-to-day, -day, maybe you're walking down the aisle in a grocery store, or you're walking down the street outside or in an office building, and you make eye contact with someone look at what your desire is to do. Immediately, when we are looking at someone and then they glance up and look at us, it's our immediate desire to look down in a way. Like we got caught looking at them and it's just awkward. But what I encourage you to do is look at someone, preferably an attractive man that you're you know, interested in engaging in a conversation with, and when he looks up and sees that you're looking at him, wait a little bit longer before you look away. And this might require some practice because it's our primal desire to look away right away. It's a little bit of tension. It feels a little awkward. That's perfect. 
That's just the kind of tension we're looking for. I want you to maintain eye contact for 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000 as you're walking. You can even add in a little smile, or you can wait. Wait for him to acknowledge and keep walking by. See how long you can maintain that eye contact. Listen, one of the best ways to let a man know that you're interested in him is to maintain eye contact. It's kind of like a green light, like, yes, I'm focusing on you. Yes, I'm interested. Yes, you can engage me. It's been terrifying for men to approach women. The fear of rejection, the fear of being creepy, the fear of you know, flirting with someone who's not open to being flirted with. It's a very terrifying process. And if you can make it easier by maintaining deep eye contact, the better. It's just so much better for you. Now, I recommend to take it a step further, like even a bonus, is if you're looking at someone and you want to add a little bit of sensuality, just as you're looking at him, maybe just imagine yourself kissing him. Don't say anything, right? Don't, you, you don't need to make it overt, but if you just imagine that fantasize in your mind, it actually will bring a level of sensual energy to the look that you didn't have before. So just a little tip. I encourage you to practice this. Uh, not only does it help you to build more confidence, it also opens up a whole new channel for meeting men that you wouldn't have met before, and it really makes it easy to be much more approachable. Now, if you find that you're not being approached at all, what you can do is you can add in the smile, like I said. You can also add in a hello, right? You can initiate the conversation. Uh, and the longer that you look and gaze into their eyes, the, lo the, the better it is. Right? So if you're not getting approached or someone's not saying anything to you and you're looking, just maintain eye contact for even longer. And don't go back and forth between eyes. Just pick one single eye and look. It's that level of focus that's really powerful. I know this may sound counterintuitive and you're going to want to, you're going to feel the desire to look away, but I, I urge you to kind of move through that through practice and desensitization and you will see the results. Trust me, this is very powerful. Now the third and final way to apply the three second rule is through touch. Now this can just be in a normal casual conversation that you're having with a man. It doesn't need to be on a date. It doesn't need to be extremely intimate. I mean, really you can just be, um, be talking to someone who might be a friend. And what you'll notice is people that are very good communicators, very good at making the other person feel comfortable, they will touch the other person at certain points in the conversation as a way to build rapport. They might touch them on their hand or their arm or their shoulder uh, just as they're speaking like, oh, I wanted to tell you this story or oh, that's hilarious. They just kind of reach over and do a little touch. Now, if you can apply the three second rule and just hold your hand on a man's shoulder or arm or, or upper back just for a little bit longer, right? Because it's a, our initial desire to just do it for a quick second and then recoil. But if you can hold on to that for three seconds, in that time, you create tension. Men feel it. I know that when, uh, when I was single and I was going out and speaking with women, if a woman would do that to me where she would keep her hand on just a little bit longer, it wasn't inappropriate, it wasn't overtly sexual, but it created an, uh, a kind of tension that made my spine tingle. It would send shivers down my spine. It was just there's something about a woman's touch that has a very powerful connection with a man. So instead of recoiling right away, hold on for just three seconds and maintain eye contact during that time as well if you can. Once again, this requires practice. And if you find that, oh, I don't touch guys as I'm talking, that just seems inappropriate or weird, I encourage you to watch some very outgoing, uh, some really inviting people that are great at building rapport, watch how they communicate with people. You'll find that touch is a very natural and normal part of a connected conversation. It just builds that connection and it also breaks the touch barrier. So I encourage you to try it. Now if you use the three second rule in these various ways, you're going to be acting differently than 99.9% .9 of women out there. It's going to give you an edge, it's going to be polarizing, and it's going to offer more ways to attract higher quality men. Now, I say higher quality men because higher quality men want someone who's going to be truly listening to them, truly attentive. They don't just want someone who's physical, they want someone who's going to give them that space and that relaxed stillness to build a deep connection. They want someone who is going to be confident enough to maintain that eye contact. 
If you want a confident man, the best way is to act confident yourself, right? Like attracts like. So we have to be the person that we're trying to attract. And finally, if you can add a bit of feminine flirtation through your touch, it just breaks the barrier and makes it much easier for someone who's maybe more respectful, like a higher quality man, to break that touch barrier because you've already gone there. So let me know in the comments if you've applied the three second rule in the past or if you tested it out after watching this video and let me know what your results are. I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't done so already, please click the little thumbs up and like this video. It really helps it to get seen by more people and I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you next week with more attraction strategies. Take good care.